which Dr. Moss said today I'm going to teach you how to do the IV canalization. This is one of the most common stage in OSC exams. So first of all I will explain how this station can come in exam. So the prompt would be that patient is admitted at the hospital and your consultant has asked you to uh, insert the IV cannula to give the patient medicines and fluids. Alright, so you will enter the station, you will take short history that I understand that you are here because you had some surgery, how was the surgery, you had any fever, any bleeding, any pain, any discharge and nothing would be there, he would be doing fine. Then you need to explain the patient that I am here because need, I need to insert IV cannula into one of your veins or forearm to give you fluids and medications. After that, doctor, you will take general history questions like you have any blood disorders, are you taking any medications, any blood thinners, are you ready to any medicine? All right, like MMA, all right, medicine, any medical history, any medicine, and any allergies. After that, doctors, then you will explain the patient the procedure that will you are, what you are going to do. First of all, P, like what you are going to do, you will tell the patient that I am going to insert a thin plastic tube into your one of the vein or forearm. You might feel a sharp scratch. Please bear with me, I will try to be as quick as gentle as possible. After that, you will ask the patient position that please straighten up your arm and the exposure would be you will ask the patient roll up the sleeves if he is wearing full sleeves all right after that you will ask the patient if he is having any arm soreness or any arm preference next doctors we will explain that what are the things we need for this procedure after talking with the patient you will move towards the table and collect your equipment so what are the things we need for this procedure first of all we need to make your all right then we need this alcohol swab Okay, then we need this IV cannula, then we need tagaderm, we need this cause piece and we need this pre-filled syringe for the flushing of the cannula. Okay doctors, so now I am going to start, before starting I would like to prepare my equipment. So what are the things I need to do in preparation? First of all, I will tear the after packing of the alcohol swab like this without taking it out. Next, I will open my cannula. I will open the cannula and I will place it here like this. Alright, after that, I will straighten the wings of the cannula. I will straighten the wings. Alright, it will be like upward. I will straighten up the wings. Then I will remove the stopper. I will place it there. Next, I will loosen it a bit like this and this cap has fell so this is preparation part i have removed the stopper i have straightened the wings i have just make it like uh, easily use and then i uh, also loosen the cap as well and also will open this one as well for flushing next of this i will open this tagaderm pattern of the tagaderm and place it there Doctors, in Tagaderm, you will see a separate tape here as well. See this tape, small tape. In preparation, you need to take this tape out and stick it to the side of the kidney tray. We will use it to insert the time and the date of the insertion. Stick it here. Alright, so after this preparation, we have done three things. We have taken the outer packing, we have prepared the IV cannula and we have opened the Tagaderm and placed this small tape here. Now we are going to start now before touching the patient as you we are gloved. After wearing the gloves, we will feel for the vein where we are going to insert the cannula. Right. After that, doctors tie the tourniquet. Tie the tourniquet here, then clean the area. Clean it with the single stroke like this. Discard this. Take a cannula. Alright, take it. It should be like this. You will be holding it like this. And start inserting and let the patient know that I am going to insert. That you might feel a sharp scratch. Start inserting. So, doctors, push it forward and pull it backward. So pulling the needle backward and pushing the cannula forward. Push it, pull it, push it, pull it. Like this. And doctors, when you have inserted fully the cannula, 
next you need to loosen the tornado after when we have inserted fully next thing is doctors you are going to place this cos piece here placing your three fingers here to stop any blood that can come out take the needle out right take the needle out and now apply the stopper here apply the stopper here then clean the area if there is any dribbling of blood and discard this cause piece as well next flush the IV cannula let the patient know that he might feel pressure in the arm flush it close this and now apply the diagram so how to apply the diagram so doctor this is transparent part and this is the sticker part so this white sticker part first you need to remove that take this part out okay this part out and this part I am going to apply without removing the borders I am going to apply directly like this I will remove the borders afterwards so first take this part out this part and then apply it here apply it here like this okay and now take the borders out you can see that there are small edges you can simply take these borders out just try to take them out like this okay take it like this and this remember doctors this small tape we have placed here to, to take it and place it here and verbalize I will label the time and the date of the insertion right so after that doctors we are done with the procedure thanks the patient let the patient know if he's any, if he feel any fever and discharge and bring from the wound side or if he has any kind of bleeding redness from the side here we have take, uh, inserted this let us know this is all from the IV canalization thank you so much remember to keep your table tidy at the end thank you